Yo, ever since I started doing hip hop trivia, I had two friends that constantly would hit me up and be like, I know the answers to all of that stuff you've been asking people. So today, this is a special version. <sighs> this show is just for Reggie and Maurice. Now I want y'all to peep this. Because this is funny. This is a special edition of Hip Hop Trivia. Oh, like I always do. Shout out to my man Al Kane. Now, let's start the show. I'm about to hit you with the secret and they wanted it kept And hip hop ain't never dies, just the radio left I listen to it like, go through it every day and then I do it like But y'all don't really hear me hard hit Still spitting with the last of my breath, it's hip hop We're gonna start with this The group Divine Sounds They're from Brooklyn They had two songs that were very popular in the 80s One was called What People Do For Money and the other was called Do a Die Bed Stop. Can you name any one of the three members from that group, Divine Sounds? What? Um, Divine Sounds. What year were they out? It's the 80s. The 80s is a whole decade. Okay, let's go early 80s. Oh, uh, see, I was six. Um, ah, Divine Sounds. Did they then later on have a solo career, any of them? No. No, I can't name any of them. Okay. All right. So that's the first question. That's the first question. Yeah. <laughs> name the three members of Divine Sounds. Oh, wow. Wow. The three members of Divine Styles. Let me see. What Divine people do. Sounds. Sounds. I'm sorry. Sounds. What people do for money. Man. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We're not playing. You're not playing. I should have. Oh, I can't even name one. What people do for what? You got me on that one. Okay. You got me on that. The song Paul Revere by the Beastie Boys. Uh huh. Very popular song. Okay. Ad Rock was infamously known for doing it with what to this girl? Do, wait, doing <laughs> doing a particular thing to this girl? He did a particular thing with a particular object. Can you tell me what that object was? Wasn't it? Oh, probably, um, late, late, um, no. Um, you got the beat. Mm. Was he motorboating her? No. That's uh, incorrect. <laughs> shit. He did it like this. He did it like that. Um, um, um. Why am I? He didn't kick it. He, uh. I, he swung it. That is incorrect. And even though my son is trying to help him from <laughs> behind. No. The song, Can You Rock It Like This? Barbara Run Hennessy. there, see? Mm-hmm. You know the writer of that song? The writer of that song yeah. in a rocket like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the writer of that song, can you rock it like this? If it's not Run DMC, the only person I can think of is uh, Larry mm -hmm. Smith. I'm gonna give you a DJ's name, okay? You tell me what group this DJ belongs to, okay? We're gonna keep it Brooklyn. DJ Silver Spinner. <laughs> UTF. Mm. No, they're Queens. UTFO is Queens, right? UTFO is Brooklyn. Is it UTFO? That was my first. That is incorrect. But I will give you a half a point. Why? Because the group is called Whistle. And Kango. We're only bugging. Kango's, I think Kango's brother was in the group Whistle. So oh, I was on the you was on you was on the right track. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna give you a half a point for that. Uh, I'll take a half a point. All right. You from Mount Vernon? Yes, sir. What is the name of the slow jam that Heavy D made on his first album? The name of the slow jam that Heavy D made on his first album was 
don't you know? What Brooklyn MC, keep it Brooklyn, confessed to the world that he keeps his girl fresher than the next chick? Oh, I want to. It's not Big L. It's um, girl fresher than the next chick. Fresher than the. Wow. I am going to jump out the window with Big L because I but I'm wrong. Yes, you are incorrect. Big L is actually from Harlem, and I said a Brooklyn MC. Oh, 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 okay. Hold up. Um, hold I, on. I, so you you taking another shot at it? No, because people are laughing, and I don't know if they're laughing at me. <laughs> okay, wait. Brooklyn MC, keep it. I, I I flipped. I only gave him Harlem. I said Big L because he here, he Harlem. So we're gonna go. Why is my brain Big Daddy Kane? That would be incorrect, sir. Here we have two names on the we have two names on the card. Alright. As you can see. Um, hopefully he can't see them. Uh, you could pick one of these cards. Okay. Hold that J.O. My assistant J.O. Walk closer to him. Have him pick one of those cards. Don't let him see it. Alright. Now, I got to ask you a question about that person on that card. Okay, so I got to look at it? You can look at the card. Okay. <clears throat> all right. He picked Lord Finesse. Name all the members. <laughs> this is not the easy one. From DITC. DITC? Um, let me think. Diamond D. Correct. Um, um, uh, Oh, oh, wait a minute. No time limit I know. Me. Hold on a second. Diamond D. Um, the two. Ah, I'm, I'm blanking out. You stuck this quick. No, I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Um, a, 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 C, um, a C. What's the. What? Ah. You're looking real bad. Oh, I, I know. I know. It's like. Hold on a second. I see that face and I can't. It's like again, I'm 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 blanking out. Like I knew this digging in the crates for off and ass. It's a whole different story. It's a whole story. different story. Yeah. Um I, can I get a soul clap? That dude, and I'm like blanking out. Hey. Uh, okay, you got you got one you got that on, that, dude, that dude. That dude. Um, ten seconds. Um Nine, Chi Chi Ali. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, you got me. Four, three, man, you got two, me. One, could at least name Lord Finesse, dude. You keep getting these redos. Okay, no, no, okay. okay. You, you multiple choice. Here we go. You say redo, hey. redo. Here okay. we go. All right, all right, all right. And you probably saw this one. I did I'm, not see anything. Okay, you probably seen this. I don't one, even, but I'm gonna give it to you. I don't even um, be watching you like that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, on the TV show Rock. Okay. All right. On the TV show Rock, which one of these rappers were assumed to have killed Clifton Powell's character? Was it A, LL Cool J, B, Queen Latifah, C, Ice T, or D, Heavy D? Heavy D. Thank you. That's Thank correct. You. Yeah. That's correct. But I think you've seen that one because I I, no, okay. I put that one on my on my board. Before. No, but I've watched Rock before, and I know Heavy and out of the and Heavy. Yes, heavy was a character on there. So you yeah. Know, so I got okay. one and a half points, and we're on the last question. Last question. We do this. You named one Divine Sounds song. Can you name the other one? I cannot. Okay. They. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me think. You got the first one? Yeah, that's the only one that was popular. And the only reason I know that mm -hmm. because to me, that was like a knockoff Run DMC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they had another one that was just as popular and very well known. People, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Got me on that one. So that, 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 that <laughs> two questions right there. <laughs> Last question. Um, Name the two members of Daz Effects. Oh, 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 what are their names? Oh, this is crazy. Scoob. Is that one? Scoob and... Um, mm, Scoob is correct. Fuck. 
This is a good one though. You, Scoob and um, L. Mm. Scoob and I can't remember the second guy's name. The answer would be Crazy Drazy. <laughs> I'll name a DJ. Okay. And you tell me what group this DJ is from. Okay. Listen, I told you I'm gonna give easy for you. Man. Mix Master Ice. <laughs> Mixmaster Ice was the DJ for UTFO. As you see, it's all different when the camera's in your face. Shout out to my dudes, though. Because despite they not doing as well as I thought they was going to do, they did I. I, on the other hand, would have got all the questions right. But I am hip hop. So until the next time, if I see you out in these streets talking about you, you know, you hip hop, you for the culture, let's believe I'm gonna run up on you and test you. I won. What's the answer? The correct answer would be Jay Z. Ain't no nigga. I keep you fresher than the next shit. So you're just it, talking it, about all oh, lyrics. Oh, these questions are so. If it's just, I keep it fresher than the next chick. No need yeah, for you to ever see the next. I mean, you, but that's you, such a general. I thought, but that, that was, was like, easy for you, man. You you started quoting the whole song just now. I know it, yeah. But okay, it's all right. All right, question four. I only got half a point. Let's go. So I'm very ready <laughs> to do this, but I'm, I'm gonna give a rebuttal because my son jumped in and gave him a lifeline. So, in in all fairness, he said Larry Smith, and Larry Smith did compose. The track, but LL Cool J was the writer. writer. So I give him a half a point for that. <laughs> um, only because my son was like, yo, let him, let him, let him let live. live. Let him live. Let him live. <laughs> the answer would be correct. Answer would be wiffle, a wiffle ball bat. I did it like this. I did it like, like that. that. I, did I did it, it with a wiffle, wiffle ball, wiffle ball bat. Right. But caveat the way that the question was asked, you said he did what with the woman? With the girl, I, I said, "What object did he use?" No, we're gonna, we gonna rewind. rewind. We'll rewind. We'll rewind later. I <laughs> Wait, doing <laughs> doing a particular thing to this girl. He did a particular thing with a particular object. Can you tell me what that object was? Was it? It would be incorrect. L L Cool J. You lying? Yes. You lying? He goes road. How do you know that? <laughs> I gotta, yeah, I gotta look that one up.